Peace. What's good? How y'all doing? Welcome to another edition of 60 Days of History with Zaza Ali. Today is day 15, Polynesian navigation. Actually, not the Polynesian navigation, just Polynesian navigation. And this is officially my fourth or fifth time <laughs> recording this video. Some of you guys, a hand, couple of handfuls of you guys saw the video I posted last night, but the there was a loud noise in the background um, at the beginning of the video. And I, at first I was like, yeah, this is okay because it's only in the beginning of the video. But then when I put it up on YouTube and I listened to it, I was like, yeah, that, no, nah, that's not going to cut it. So I just started using a new streaming platform for my YouTube videos, for my membership channel, for all of my sites. And so there is a learning curve. And I actually recorded a whole hour and 15 minute um, headline news episode. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. How are you guys doing today? Let me stay on subject. So today we're going to be talking about Polynesian navigation, and this comes from chapter one of Ancient People, a social studies and history textbook. This chapter is uh, based around Queen Lili Ukulani, as well as the La Hawaii's last monarchy. But we also do an in-depth uh, analysis of the ancient Polynesians who were the parent civilization or the ancestors of a lot of most of the, all of the actually uh, great historical figures that we cover in this chapter. And so if you, as you can see on the map on the screen, um, the South Pacific Islands, also known as Polynesia, also known as Micronesia and Melanesia. And the term Melanesia, you can tell that it has the same root word as melanin, right? And so um, this triangle, the Polynesian triangle, they call it, uh, is where the subjects that we talk about in the, 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 the section that covers ancient Polynesia from Samoa. I already posted that video to Fiji, to Easter Island, to, uh, there's one more I'm missing, Tasmania, right? And so I love the fact that the map, when we look at these maps, uh, it gives us the more, you know, this map and then the world map gives us a broader context of how these ancient civilizations and ancient people were navigating and moving around the world and going to new lands and discovering new places and uh, you know exploring, which is a beautiful thing. So Polynesian navigation. Um, why is my screen not moving? Because I don't have my mouth in the right place. Okay, let's get this right. Where is my mouse? <laughs> let's see if I can finish the page. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, there we go. Black settlers. Oh, and let me say this. This is what I was supposed to say in the first um, image because I mentioned this, I think, maybe in the last video or the video before. Um, and I also had a, you know, a situation when I first started promoting the book where I was reading a, uh, a quote from a gentleman named William Cleghorn who was talking about, he was an explorer, European explorer, and he was talking about his experience when he first arrived in Hawaii. And so he referenced the people that he came across when he got there as black. And I had this Afro-Polynesian guy um, who got upset with me, uh, Afro, I guess that's the proper terminology, who got upset with me for calling them black. Well, first of all, I didn't call them black. The people who came upon them from Europe referred to them as black. And then secondly, I have in the intro, I address this particular subject and whether you prefer melanated or indigenous or native or ancient Polynesian or black or African or Afro-Polynesian or African-American, it does not matter to me. I support and respect all of those titles. And I think we should be a lot more focused on the, the, all of those titles that I just referenced as well as people from different areas of the world, we need to be a lot more focused on uniting and finding our commonalities, right? And, and again, this is a history book, so it's not personal. Just like the, the um, quote from that guy was not personal. It's what he said, <laughs> okay? So with that being said, Black settlers developed very advanced societies that sent navigators to explore and settle various islands of the Pacific Islands. They reached such places as New Guinea, Fiji, New Hebrides, New Zealand, the Society Islands, Tahiti, Easter Island, and thousands more. 
Polynesian navigation or Polynesian wayfinding was used for thousands of years to enable long voyages across thousands of miles of the open Pacific Ocean. Polynesians made contact with nearly every island within the vast Polynesian Triangle using outrigger canoes or double hulled canoes. The double hull canoes were two large hulls equal in length and lashed side by side. The space between the parallel canoes allowed for food storage, hunting materials, and nets when embarking on long voyages. Polynesian navigator, navigators used wayfinding techniques such as navigation by the stars, observation of birds, ocean swells, and wind patterns. They also relied on a large body of knowledge from oral tradition. And as you can see this boat here, this is a rendition of those ships um, that allowed these ancient people to explore in, on the open seas in the Pacific Ocean. <clears throat> The first people to reach what is now Hawaii were Blacks from Polynesia, or Melanated people from Polynesia, or dark-skinned Polynesians, whatever you prefer. It's all good here. It's all, um, let's see, where is it? Lost my track. The first people to reach what is now Hawaii were Black from Polynesia, a name which means many islands in the Central Pacific. They sailed to Hawaii in giant canoes about 2,000 years ago. The Hawaiians and their neighbors in the Pacific have long been the subject of controversy among scientists. These people, the, the people in this part of the world are generally divided into three groups. Melanesians, the word means black islands, who are unmixed black people or dark skinned people or original people or native people. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm being kind of, uh, you know, in a joking way, I'm being repetitive about this because I want to neutralize this energy in the comments. You know what I mean? Like this, our children need content and historical figures and legends and context for our ancestors and where we came from and, and in the bigger scheme of things, what the world has been through to help us understand where we are now. So I'm intentionally repeating these things, not to uh, <laughs> irritate you, but to hone in on the point that please stop looking at the small picture and look at you know the forest from the trees. Um, Micronesians, which means small islands, and and ancient Black people who are now largely mixed with a mixed with Asians and Polynesians, a people who were originally Black but have mixed historically with Asian Mongoloids and white Europeans. Ancient People is a social studies and history textbook by Zaza Ali, a full color 349 page historical expose focused on ancient civilizations around the world. Available in paperback and hardcover, this book places emphasis on vocabulary, spelling, critical thinking, and more. There are more than 450 photos included in the book as well. Hawaii's last monarchy, the Moors in Spain, the Kandakis of Ethiopia and Kush, the African presence in Asia, and Pharaoh Hopshedsit. You can get more information from the link in my description, or you can go to my website, zazaali.com. Peace and love.